I got interrupted when I pulled out all the cards. These are your cards right now. I'll tell you what positions are, but I'm just gonna go ahead and re-pull these for you guys and see what messages are coming in. So I do apologize for that. Let's see what we have for you. We have, I am calm. I am safe. And I forgive myself. Let's do two more. I am healing. And I'm ready for change, okay? So those are the cards coming in for you guys. So here we have Mr. Prince Charming, <laughs> Knight of Cups here. A knight that is very good with his words. He's kind, caring, loving. You could be dealing with the water sign. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone's carrying this energy. This energy is easily to be drawn to, okay? But they also could be a, a little bit overly sensitive, like someone could, and missing the signs. Uh, the downside of this Knight of Cups is saying things but not really following through. Um, they say things out of emotion and they start relationships off very quickly. This is someone that jumps into something uh, due to emotions here. It can be a feeling of exhausting once they start pulling away their energy and leaving you and could possibly be leaving you in this limbo where it could be emotionally exhausting, okay? So that is the downside of the Knight of Cups, but overall, this is a very loving night. Now, we have the Five of Wands coming in in your energy. This is feeling conflicted, kind of fed up. Um, this is a lot of challenges here, holding in a lot when in this energy is to take a step back, which I feel that you are doing here due to the surrounding cards. But this is putting your emotions aside and um, something may be pushing you to want to set boundaries to where you're needing to get something off your chest. But that's what leads us to this uh, judgment card. This is the last call. Your person could be feeling a change, possibly coming back or coming in and out of your life. But this is about being honest with themselves or needing to be honest with themselves and their emotion, needing to be honest with you. They might want to come in for a second chance or a third or fourth <laughs> for some of you. But this energy can keep you lingering again with your emotions. Just by your energy here, I feel that you are a little bit on edge here. The Fool is coming in and the challenge and obstacles. The Fool represents new beginnings, leaving the past behind, trusting yourself and having the faith to move forward. A fresh start. But in the challenge position, it means something could be holding you back from letting go something could be stopping you or this could be your person or taking a leap of faith but this is either someone being cautious or needing to let go of something in the fool now in the mutual energies we have this queen this energy it could be male or female but it's an air sign gemini libra aquarius this could be your energy or both of you again but this queen is here she wants to cut through some bs here and get to the point of something. Yes, she's very understanding and she means well and she's genuine, but it's a feeling where enough is enough. She only wants the truth and nothing but the truth here. No one can play with this queen's emotions. She's using logic when looking at a situation, which I do feel that that's what you're doing here when you're could be possibly fighting some emotions here, but it's looking more of the logic side of it and using logic when communicating. Either you or your person is seeing more clear in the situation as she is aw awakened here, okay? So with the Four of Cups on what they want you to know, someone is very frustrated here. This is a feeling of something didn't quite work out as expected. Someone could be feeling like this is a missed opportunity. Now this is what they want you to know. Because the Eight of Wands is about communication messages coming through. Yes, they're supposed to be good messages, so something good could be coming from this person, but it looks like you're tired of something here. Now, this could be somebody traveling to you, or again, this could be communication, as in text messages, emails, social media, anything in that sort. But then we have the outside influence, which is this Five of Cups. This Five of Cups represents sadness, a loss here. This card could mean crying over spilled milk. This could be some type of betrayal or someone feeling a bit betrayed, bitterness. 
but uh, this signifies a broken heart. So someone could be very broken hearted here. I don't feel like there was some type of betrayal. There could have been for some of you. With this energy here, I don't feel it's gonna be as easy as to come in and use this Prince Charming energy as they used before. Like it's not gonna work this time because someone is setting boundaries. Now, if this is you or your person, somebody could be holding on or needing to let go of some past issues, letting go of the old stories and needing to turn around to know that there's two other cups standing. Two of wands and the outcome. Now, someone is could be making a choice. This means making a choice, moving forward. It's about progress. But it's all about making the choice what's best for you. And with the outcome and the two of wands, I feel that someone is has made a choice or making a choice to move forward. They're kind of, this is about looking into um, the future, moving towards the right direction. This also could be waiting. Yes, waiting for a message, waiting for a person, or waiting for anything, you know, that you're, that you're desiring. The downside is that there could be some delays and blockages. We do have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so delays and blockages could come from some type of confusion here. Someone could keep you a little bit confused. The Emperor is all about taking leadership, not scared to stand up for themselves. You could be dealing with the Aries, but also you could be carrying this energy. It's thinking logical, as I see here in the Mutual Energies. This would coming to what your wants are. The only thing is, yes, they could come off a little bit stubborn and less compassionate, but someone could be juggling two people or juggling a lot in life, but it's either you or your person, but this is feeling confused. This is feeling like weighing out the options here. It's not really seeing clearly on what to do, right? And also this could mean options. This also could mean a choice within two people that somebody could be making a choice here, which is this is where the two of pentacles come in. But let's go ahead and get into your romantic oracles and see what's coming in. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Ooh. All right, I guess I'll just take those. So we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This one fell on the floor. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I feel like it's someone coming in again in your life. Um, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. Yeah, someone could have addictions coming. coming. Also, maybe it's your person. Uh, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring together. I could never say that word. So you could have already met this person or this could be someone new you're dealing with, okay? Or have dealt with. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that here for you, Capricorn. If you do like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.